Teachers Union in New Bedford wants something done about violence in the classroom. They met this afternoon after two recent incidents in which teachers were the target. And the teachers have other complaints, too, about their boss. NBC 10's Brian Crandall is live from New Bedford with details. Brian? And Patrice, there have been issues between the teachers and the superintendent for months, going back to when the teachers got upset over the superintendent's plan to turn around the struggling schools. And then, of course, those tensions have now escalated with two recent incidents of things being thrown at teachers. First, a chair, and now more recently, a trash can. New Bedford teachers meet in private to air their grievances about the superintendent. Many of the Dr. Durkin's policies, we believe, simply do not work. Teachers are concerned about safety, especially following the highly publicized video of a student throwing a chair at a teacher and then the teacher facing potential discipline for not reporting the incident. The teacher's getting support here from these folks. I do not like what's going on in our school district. The violence has gotten way out of control. The teachers claim Superintendent Pia Durkin's policies, like trying to reduce student suspensions, have turned the tables on them and have led to an increase in violence in schools. Almost 100% of the people in that room felt that they were not supported by the superintendent and they feel that uh, they're not being treated as professionals. The teachers union is also complaining about micromanaging and student evaluations for teachers they claim are good. Now all of a sudden, People who are veteran teachers who have been teaching for a long time know what they're doing and being told that they don't know anything. Is this just an issue where you're having a hard time with a new superintendent who may be trying to shake things up? I know no. the state was going to take over. You don't think no. that, that she's trying to change things because the state no. is going to get involved? No. There are, different, there are different ways to do things, and I think that this approach is, is definitely not the right way. The teachers union president stopped short of saying that they would call for a no confidence vote in the superintendent, but they'll continue to meet about the issues. We were unable to reach the superintendent for comment following this late afternoon meeting of the teachers union. Live in New Bedford, I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News.